Last week was my birthday, and my parents sent us a bed from the United States to the Dominican Republic. And if you're wondering exactly how they did that, then this is for you. Hello, hola, it's Yanni and Kayla. Hola, hello from the DR of Buffalo. First of all, we did our research. Mariano and I live in San Pedro de Macaris in the Dominican Republic. We searched every single furniture store in San Pedro. One by one by one by one. There's Avenida Independencia. There is a bunch of furniture places all the way down that street. It's like the furniture street. We're gonna go see how many Mueble stores are on Avenida Independencia. What's your guess? I think there's 10. Eight. Okay, let's see who's right. There are nine. Nobody won. It's a tie. We asked what beds they have, how much the beds are. And at that point we were looking for a queen bed and they were expensive. They were so expensive. A queen size bed in San Pedro de Marguerite at the very least costs 20,000 pesos. That's a lot. That's the minimum. The maximum is like 50,000 pesos for a queen bed. And the headboard was way too high because we have a window right here and we couldn't get any of them for the headboard. And then when we wanted a king size bed, it was impossible to find a king size bed within our budget. So then we expanded our search to the capital, Santo Domingo, and we were looking at Ikea and the minimum price there is 27,000 pesos for a king size bed. So after we did all of our research, we decided to try looking online on Wayfair, on Amazon, on Walmart, and looking for a bed and a mattress in the US. I ended up finding a king size mattress on Amazon. I found a king size bed on Wayfair, half the price of any bed here, and a queen size bed for our guest bedroom. Again, half the price of any bed in San Pedro or in Santo Domingo. So we don't even have Amazon Prime, but they sent the bed really fast to Miami. And the same with Wayfair. Wayfair has two day shipping and that got to Miami right away. Within two days, I was impressed with how fast they were. Mariano has an address and an account with Rapid Pack in Miami. So we ship everything to Rapid Pack in Miami. There's a number that he has, which is his account number. We just put that on the package. So they deliver to Miami. Now Rapid Pack is rapid. It is so fast compared to Domex. We used to have Domex. They were our shipping company to send things from Miami to San Pedro de Macaris and the Dominican. But Domex takes at least two weeks to send our packages, which was fine. We didn't mind waiting. But I mean, if we have the option to have it delivered quicker with Rapid Pack and it's the same price, if not cheaper, then we're gonna choose Rapid Pack. Once a package gets to Miami and it gets to Rapid Pack, then everything is on the app. So we get an alert on the app saying it's in Miami. We get an alert saying it's processing. Then once it's on the airplane, it will tell us. And then once it arrives in San Pedro, we'll get an alert saying that the package is ready to be picked up. And honestly, Rapid Pack was so fast. It took two days, three days at the most for each one to get from Miami to San Pedro and then we went to pick it up. After our package arrives, then we'll either go and pick it up on the moto or they will deliver it for us, which is nice because I don't even think Domex has a truck. Domex has a delivery moto, but I've never seen a Domex truck. Rapid Pack does have a truck and they were able to deliver our mattress and our bed because those were pretty large packages. And the mattress was a mattress in a box, so it was vacuum sealed and rolled up, but it was still pretty big and heavy. And then our king size bed was the biggest package because of the headboard. The headboard was rather large, but they were able to deliver it on the truck and then it came to our house. Also, the cost of Rapid Pack depends on the weight. The mattress was pretty heavy and the bed was pretty heavy. The queen size bed was not as heavy, so that was cheaper. But even 
paying for the mattress in a box and the shipping was still cheaper than any mattress here. We wouldn't use this process to send just anything from the US because most of the time it's probably just easier and cheaper to get it here. So I wouldn't recommend sending anything to the Dominican from the United States, but if it's something that you can get cheaper and then it's worth it, then sure. One important thing to know about Rapid Pack and Domax and just shipping internationally in general is that there is a maximum amount of money that you can spend on something without having to pay the tax. So the amount is 250. If we spend under $250 on any order, then we don't have to pay the government, the Dominican government tax for shipping it or importing it with customs or whatever. If it's more than 250, then we have to pay an extra tax. So the bed and the mattress were two separate orders and they were not more than 250. So we avoided that tax altogether. So now we have our bed. We have our mattress. I'm sure we'll use Rapid Pack again in the future, but for now we're set. How do you feel about our bed? Baby. So good. <laughs> I have no worries. All right. It's time for our Sunday afternoon nap. Peace out. We asked what beds they have. How Honey! And they were ex... You can't... Am I expect... Why? Do you hear this? Why? <laughs> I can't! I want it back. Repeat it. <laughs> Honey! <laughs> Why? I'm Sorry. fixing my hair. <laughs> <laughs> <A cook. laughs> okay. The maximum. <laughs> so. <at> <laughs> Between you and the rooster. I'm doing fine. So is your worried mind. Sit back and close your eyes. Yeah, yeah. This land is a paradise. And the people are so very nice. I'm happier than I've ever been.